Chamber TV, my name is Leonardo. Another day and a whole new adventure. Last night at the Brown Sea the receptions, two lucky Jamboree participants from each country going all to the Sunrise Camp all met for the first time. Hello, where are you from? Panama. And Christian, and you've just been told you're going to Brown Sea Island. Mm. How does it feel? It feels great. We just saw a movie about what we're going to do down there. It's short information. It's when we're really excited right now. Yes. Okay. I'm so and excited. You're excited. Tell me um, what you're looking forward to the most about going to Brown Sea. Meet everybody yeah. and uh, the whole discover all the people that's going to be there and meet all the new people down there. Every day at the Chamboree is full of surprises. Yesterday, Chamber News got to capture one of them when a group of Indonesian scouts performed their very own version of Jambo outside Hambury HQ. We thought it was incredible. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> traditional music, bamboo musical from Indonesia. It's very unique and to get traditional. It's a uh, real and uh, original from Bandung, West Java, Indonesia. And to produce the sound of this uh, anklum music is just to shake it, just like that. See? It's just so simple, just like that. Come and visit Indonesia and find about more about this anklum music. This is so beautiful. Yes, this is first time in the UK. And what do you think of the Jamboree? This is very, very nice, very good Jamboree. And very excellent Jamboree. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, different sizes. So there is a two, uh, two tube uh, from bamboo. So the size is between one, one note and the other note is different. So like this one, this is uh, quite high. So uh, have a different sound. So this one sound like this. While this one more heavy. Right. See? So this is this to have different sound. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, quite quite uh, cold, but we like it. Enjoy it, and we're happy. Food. You can't live without it, and when you're away from home, your favorite food is usually something you miss. But don't panic. On the plaza, there are a lot of food houses from different countries. Chamber and Nudes went to look, take a look at the Holland House. <laughs> what did you do? Hello. Are you looking for food or drinks or a game? As you can see, this is the Holland House. Um, you can play games here, you can eat um, the wonderful poppertjes, which are little poppertjes, so Dutch, you have to try them. Uh, you can drink real Dutch coffee and tea and Dutch cookies, it's, they're really good. I, maybe some of you know Proofwafels, we sell lots of Dutch candy, it's delicious, you'll love it. Wooden shoes, everyone knows them, so you can get your own wooden shoes here. Visit us today in all the house. I'll see you here. <laughs> One of the greatest things about Chamboree is the chance to work together and make changes to the world we live in. To make those changes and to solve those problems, we first have to understand them. Today, our reporters went to the Global Development Village where scouts were doing an activity around landmines. 
Let's see what they found out. Hello, my name is Otto from Geneva and I'm a Swiss scout. I'm in the landmines team from Geneva. Ten years after the treaty in Ottawa, the idea emerged. A scout group from Geneva decided to create a game aimed at children for helping to solve the landmine problem. A lot of governments use landmines and we think that it should be considered an illegal practice because the most part of victims are civilian. We think that it's good to speak about it to the young people so that they talk to their friends and in the future take some little actions of their own. This game is divided into four activity bases each of which demonstrates one of the features of the landmine problem. In the military camp we will show you the different types of bombs and we explain that their goal is to maim people and not to kill them. Maimed people cost a lot because we have to have installations and specialised surgeons and that blocks a country's economy. We also have a hospital where the participants can see the different sort of handicaps that are caused by landmines. The most part of victims are children and civilians. Behind we have an equipment store. The scouts have to do an obstacle course to earn money and then buy landmines or pay for the clearing of mines in their country. It costs less to clear a country of mines than to mine it and it also takes more time. And in the last area we have the clearing of mines. The scouts have the opportunity to see how difficult it is to find mines with metal detectors or by other methods. It takes a long time to get rid of landmines. I invite all the scouts at the Jamboree to join us and participate in this activity. They will enjoy themselves and learn a lot. The more participants we have, the more we can ensure that the message is passed on. It will be very satisfying for us. See you soon. That's all for another day. Join us tomorrow for another generous helping of Jamboree News. Be more. Thank you.